Cheers and shouts heard inside the Roswell Convention Center, signaling the start of the Democratic Party's pre-primary convention. A pre-primary nominating convention determines which Democratic candidates will appear on the ballot come the June Democratic primary. This election year, many state Democrats will be running unopposed, like Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, who's seeking re-election. We will not go back, Democrats. We will stand for truth, fairness, equity, equality, justice. Yet some contests will not be unchallenged. I think probably the most exciting one might be the attorney general's race. Bernalillo County District Attorney Raul Torres facing off against state auditor Brian Colon for attorney general. While Torres says crime should be a big focus. We have uh, worked diligently to, to dig out of a, of a historic backlog not only in sexual assault cases, but in general felony crime cases. Colon says consumer protection and environmental protection should also be top priority. We have former mayors who are no longer mayor. They're now convicted felons. I've held Big Pharma accountable. They will be repaying New Mexicans for overcharging them to the tune of about 1 million prescriptions. Meanwhile, eyes are also on the race for the second congressional district after going through redistricting changes during a special session last year. The, the boundaries have changed significantly, and the Democrats have a better shot at it than they typically do. Democrats Darshan Patel and Gabriel Vasquez vowing for a seat and running against Republican Yvette Harrell. But KOAT political analyst Brian Sanderoff says it's going to be tough. The mood of the nation and the state in 2022 will not be as favorable for the Democrats as it was two years ago and four years ago. For all state Democrats heading into the November elections. Reporting in Roswell, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7.